two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Bow, bow. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, hey. Five, four, three, two, one. Bow, bow. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of. I was going to say Grand Theft Auto. It's not another episode of Grand Theft Auto. It's another episode of Game I'm Alive. And uh, I'm still not 100%. You might be able to tell from my voice. I'm not entirely sure. But it's just how it is sometimes. Okay. Uh, so sometimes uh, you'll notice that I don't sound 100%. That's because I'm not 100%. I managed to pick up a lovely, lovely uh, virus. It's just one of those things. But uh, here we are. And as an example of how bad this has been, um, before I started the show, I put the Grand Theft Auto disc into the DVD player and wondered why it wasn't playing the game. That's the kind of level I'm on here. But we're going to try and play anyway, because that's, that's what we do. We are, of course, playing Grand Theft Auto 3, but let's see who's in the chat tonight. We have Martin Vegas, who says, St. Martin, Martin Vegas, the first. Or the first. So there you go. But I'm probably only going to call, call you St. Michael's or something like that. Because isn't that the name of um, what Marks and Spencers used to do as their book brand? I remember that. That was weird. And, uh, yeah, they did a lot of stuff. It was St. Michael. Uh, but yeah, St. Marky Sparks. Yes, that'll do. <laughs> we also have Dave Holloway saying, Evening peeps, hope all are well. Doing moderately okay, getting by. And uh, Patrick Furlong, Sir Patrick Furlong and Melody the Cat. <laughs> Says, yay, return of the Game Hammer. Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. <laughs> hey, hey. And all of that, yes. And of course, we have Krista Duke here. Says, hi, Zoe, it's good that you're a bit better. Thank you. It's good to be a bit better. We are, of course. It was St. Michael. Yep. That was it. Thanks, Patrick. And the mighty, mighty space chicken is here. Excellent. Hello there. So we are, of course, doing Grand Theft Auto. But I thought before we start, it might be good if we did an intro. <laughs> That intro was totally not so I could uh, pour a thing of coke without uh, worrying. Honest. <laughs> I, I didn't actually manage to finish because I couldn't remember where I put it. Give me a second. <laughs> oh dear. I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, Tell you what, being on holiday was great. I, for those of you who don't know, I didn't take a fortnight off and just sit in the house. I went to Italy and it was wonderful. I got this pashmina in Italy. It was in uh, Sorrento. What a place. So good that Jen and I, if we can uh, sort out our uh, remortgaging, we may uh, see about seeing whether we can get a holiday home out there. Nothing huge. Just, you know couple of rooms so that we can go out there because I'm in love with Italy now and I didn't want to leave honestly I didn't want to leave when we uh, finished the holiday um, on my second channel the Zoe Kirk Robinson on the vlog I have done a uh, couple of I appear to have uh, crashed wait I have I have appear to have crashed there my goodness uh, but yeah um on my second channel, my uh, vlog channel, which I've redone the, the vlogs, restarted those, I have uh, put up a few videos of it. Well worth having a look at. But, remarketing equals bad idea. Yeah, but you got to remember, I've got about 30 years before I retire. Mortgages are 25. And um, 
we've almost finished paying ours off. So it might be a good idea to invest, you know? So we're thinking about it. Nothing 100%, but we are considering it. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Italy is amazing. I loved it. I did not want to come home. But here we are. And to get home, I had to fly on a plane. And unfortunately, um, how could I put this? You're in a metal tube that recycles air and farts and germs. That's the best way I can say it. So I end up getting a bit of a stomach bug and a horrible cough. <clears throat> am I not already paying a mortgage as this, Sir Patrick? Yes. Yes, I am. But we're close to finishing it off. Like, in the next year or so. Which is why we're thinking about redoing it. Because you've got to remember, I was, I was in my 20s when we moved here. <laughs> I'm in my 40s now. See, these thing, things get over. So, yeah, I'd like, I'd like, I don't know whether it'll happen. I genuinely don't know, but we'll see what happens. Chobbidon Junction, Junction, rewound, Chobbidon Junction. Hello there. Welcome to the channel. The Amalfi Coast is amazing. It really is. <clears throat> I can now see why the Campania region was regarded by the Romans as a wonderful place to be uh, stationed as a legionnaire. But uh, I can also see why the other legionnaires thought it made you soft because the living was so good. It is the best place. Seriously, it's the best. I, I was in love. I did not want to come home. <clears throat> right. The thing is, we've got a game to play tonight, haven't we? It's something about granding theft autos. Oh, that's not the right button. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello there. <laughs> this is the right button. Hi Lex, how you doing? Hope you're having a good night. So I thought we'd uh, jump in and uh, recording cannot be started. Oh, because I've I haven't pressed the right button. Hard drive. Record. There we go. Let's get into this. You play. You got GTA Three Vice City and San Andreas last week on PS Two. Excellent. So we are now. I've still got to send you that uh, GTA Five. I think it was. I forgot before we uh, got every, before I went away. Um, here's the best story that you'll find, like, a complete uh, explanation of why I'm so ridiculous. Um, on the day that I was heading out to the airport, I had to leave at 8am. Uh, I finished work at 6. <laughs> I didn't go to bed that night. <laughs> it was ridiculous. So yes, um, it's one of those things. Oh dear. Right, you can't. Yes, I can. Right, let's get in the car. Cost you 15 quid for all three. Not bad. He was happy with what cool treasures you found last weekend. Nice. Always good. Right, so we're going to be doing some missions. So, yeah, um, I finished the uh, videos that went out over the two weeks I took off uh, on the morning that I was leaving at the airport. It was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I going in here? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still trying to get myself uh, sorted with regard to controls. I keep pressing circle as reverse because circle was on the Simpsons. But it's not circle, it's square. So I do have a tendency to go the wrong way. You can go your own way. Charity shop around the corner has a few 360 games. And an Xbox One game for a pound each. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Where am I? Oh, yeah, we're in the new area. Okay. So we're supposed to be doing a mission, and I've gone past it. Can't, you bought it. Can't remember 360 title, but the Xbox One was Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Nice. Nice. One of these days I need to play Let's Play the Saboteur. Oh, my goodness. Is that the one where you can't um, you can't get the full nude scenes on the on on the certain uh, levels anymore because they turned the surface off? <laughs> it's one of those stupid things, isn't it? I love that. That's so so ridiculous. I I've gone the wrong way. I'm supposed to be going to where it says A, but I went to where it says T instead. So let's go back. Uh, yeah, Lego Marvel Super Heroes Two is nice. Uh, I did pick up a new game the other day myself. 
which I hope to be able to do as a uh, thing sometime. Who is shooting? Ridiculous. Uh, there you are. Uh, Lego Marvel's Avengers. So that'll be fun. That will be a lot of fun. What have I just done? Did I just die? I just died. No, 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 no. We're not dying just because I was talking about the Avengers. No. I'm not doing that. That was a numpty, but I'm not I'm not taking that that, that out. That was a numpty. So let's go and actually do what we're supposed to be doing here. I'm supposed to be uh, losing weight at the moment, but given that I'm ill, I've decided that the best thing to do is try and keep my uh, sugar levels up and keep me going. I got busted by the cop. Oh! Well, that's going to happen again because I'm a, a, a menace to society. So, oh well. <coughs> I got busted by the cops while talking about superheroes. That's, that is, that is me to a T. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna go over here and go to where it says A. Hey, 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 hey. I think it's down here. Yes, it is. That's the game, and I'm happy that I found State of Emergency and Robotech Battle. Very nice. Did I just get a perfect, insane stunt? Sweet. Okay, that's nice. I I got an imperfect, insane stunt. Right, where am I going? <clears throat> Sayonara, Salvatore. Okay, so, oh, this is the one. <coughs> I remember this now. Sweet PSP. PSP is great. The PSP is severely underrated. I love the PSP. I've been playing um, Legends Untold or Untold Legends or whatever it's called. One of those games and having a great time. It's like Diablo on it. You can put it in your pocket and take it with you. Love it. Those get those uh, little uh, Sony handhelds don't get enough credit. Okay, it would be a really bad idea for me to drive over there, so we won't. Uh, let's go back. We're getting Halo 5 next week. Should be interesting. I've never played it. I got so annoyed with Halo 4 that I didn't bother. Although, I have to say, I loved the multiplayer on Halo 4. It was like the multiplayer on Halo Reach, only in a more... Uh, more um, countryside kind of area for goodness sake I've just I've got to be at this place by half a, half eight and <laughs> you're not making it easy game right give me a give me a, a an amazing car let's go you're on the Bovril diet uh, that doesn't sound good a liquid diet does not sound good for your bowels dude like, seriously, at, at, our, at our combined ages, we need to be getting some fibre in there, let me say that. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be messing with that. Right, is this the way? Is it? I can't tell. I think it's the way. I think this is the right direction we need to be going in, but uh, we'll find out in a moment. Beep, beep. This is not the right way. We need to go in further into town town and then around to get onto the overhead freeway don't we this is the freeway what's the overhead like seriously where's the overhead I don't see it oh I'm gonna be late he's leaving it in 15 minutes Oh my goodness. This is... Mission failed because I've missed... Yeah, you think? I got lost. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we're going to take a bit of time and work out where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Because that way I can be prepared. Forewarned is forearmed and all that. And I definitely have some forearms because I'm holding onto a controller with them. Speaking of controls and holding them, can I introduce, introduce you to my glamorous assistant? I have a new glamorous assistant for holding my controller when I'm not holding it. Hello, Sonic. Hello. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Hello. Hello there. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I bet you didn't think I sounded like a farmer crossed with a pirate. Arr. I'll hold your controller for you. Just give it here. Go on. Go on. You know I'm good for it. Oh. Oh. Gotta go fast. Beep. I have no idea what the hell that was. <laughs> Oh dear, right, let's find a car and then try not to break it this time. Starting back on the treadmill soon, oh my goodness. The treadmill's a, a term that Jen and I use for work. <clears throat> when you're self-employed, doing work just keeps you in one place. Instead of knocking you backwards, so it's, it feels like a treadmill. By the way, I'm just eating little sweeties as we go. Oh, Yardies. Okay, that's another gang. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Wingman approves of Sonic. Everyone should approve of Sonic. Right, we need to go over there, don't we? If you and Jenny ever visit Seattle, me and my wife would show you all the retro game stores we found. That would be so cool. I would love to visit Seattle. Because uh, it, it seems like a really nice place. Alright, let's try this again. You're believing the Ouija's about half one. Okay. Right, let's do this. This is probably the easier way than trying to work out where the bloody on ramp is. <laughs> Welcome to Portland. So we're going in. And we got to half one. So I'm gonna go over there where it seems where this giant wall seems to drop a little bit. <coughs> and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'd love to visit Seattle and it seems like a really nice place. And it's got the same kind of weather that Britain has, so I think I'd be okay. I had to go early in the year to go to Italy. <laughs> because uh, I'm not good with weather. <laughs> when it gets too hot I just die horribly. But uh, I think I could do Seattle. Especially if the Fraser Crane show is anything to go by. Because it seems like the kind of weather that would be fine with me, you know? A bit chilly, a bit wet. Plus, they've got a really good um, hockey team these days. They've, they've released the Kraken. And he's dead. No, he's not. Excellent. Okay, that makes no sense. I fell in the water and stood on the land. That's weird. GTA London 1969. Nice. I have one of the Londons. There's supposed to be two. Which I thought was weird. I, I'm i not entirely sure if there are two. But I remember getting confused. Like one was 63, one was 69, or 166 or 169. Can't remember which is which. But yeah, I got a little confused about that. Right. They'll be leaving in an hour. So we need an, uh, indis an indistinct car, something that people won't notice. So if this could stop flashing its frickin' lights, that would be great. <laughs> if we go past the police car while this has still got its alarm going, I'll be very unhappy. Right, here we go. So we're going to Luigi's in the red light district. Is that it? No, where is Luigi's? Oh my goodness, I can't remember where it is. You got your Kraken jersey too. Nice. This car sucks. 
Chinatown doesn't like me. Where is... Did I find it? Aha! Here they are. Okay. So, there they go. Right. We've got to make sure he doesn't meet, arrive at his club. And the best way I can do it is by shooting people in the face. I genuinely don't remember where the club is. This is going to be difficult. Ah, there's the green. There's the green dot. So, we're going this way. Is it round here? Oh my goodness, I can't get there. Oh, next street down, next street down. Okay. I knew we were near. I knew we were near. Right, there he is. There he is. Get out the frickin' way. Whoa, 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 whoa. My goodness, they really don't want me to kill this guy, do they? It's like, why? Why? But he's not real. It's okay. It's okay. We can. We, he's not a real person. We can get him. Come here, come here, come here. How's he up? How is he already at his house? Oh my goodness! I'm about to, I'm about to lose because I, because I got knocked sideways by one bit. Where is he? Frickin' it! Salvatore's home safe and sipping a cocktail. That's just ridiculous. Another try. Where am I? Probably easier to just reload so that we're back at the right place. So. <clears throat> now I know what's going on. I think our best bet is to load up on stuff. So we're going to need a reasonably fast car. This will do. And we're going to go and get the car a bomb. So that when I get to where we're going, we explode. I'm still annoyed though that I got the guy and died one time and it's dead mission that failed. It's like, dude. I managed to do it. <laughs> give, give me my completion. Damn it. <laughs> I remember that. Why are you upset? I got the dude. Right, let's do this. We're going to make the car explode. And then I'm going to park it. Nearby. Now, that wasn't the right one. I, that's the paint spray. Where's the explosion one? Is this 8 balls? That's not it either. Where's 8 ball? I thought 8 ball was around here. There he is. Right. <coughs> this is the one. You love to get an up to date Maple Leafs jersey. One of these times, uh, I would love to. to be able to get a. Um, Oh, ah, a, a St. Louis Blues one. I will one these days. Uh, I, I love. Uh, it's my team, the St. Louis Blues. I, I don't know why. I am. Um, well, actually, no. I tell you why. I do know why, and it's down to when I was a kid. With NHLPA hockey.
That may have been the stupidest thing I've done. Because, well, this is a car with a bomb in it and I just dropped off the freeway onto the floor. But, when I was a kid, NHLPA hockey, we had to pick teams when I was playing against my friends for tournaments. I was St. Louis Blues. I had the funny, uh, funny musical note. So that's my team. That's how it started. <laughs> it's funny how those things just stick with you, isn't it? Right, can we get out of here? Right, we need to get to Salvatore. Oh, there's a purple dot on the screen. I can just aim for that. Right, okay, we can do this. We can do this. Let's get ready. Where is the on-ramp? Don't know where it is, but I think it's round here, round to the left. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, I am. Ha ha! Managed to get there now. Let's do this. I'm playing Forgive Me Father, an FPS Lovecraft horror game. I have to admit, the only games I'm playing at the moment are games I have to play for reviews. So I've been playing Flashback again. That's coming out soon. And uh, I've been playing RuneScape. Like, not old school RuneScape, the what they call RuneScape 3, the modern one. Don't, well, at least the more modern looking one. And it's a lot of fun, so I might actually continue playing it. Which is, um, it's not normal for me to be doing that. But hey, uh, hi, high and horse, how are you doing? Looked on the screen and stream and immediately see Zoe crashing. Evening all, hello and welcome back. Yes, the, the more things change, the more things stay the same. That's how it works. Melody's been doing a lot of cuteness. Nice. Ah, bloody hell. I'm getting shot at, getting shot at. Okay, right, we have to just wait around now. Until Salvatore says that he's going. I don't know why I'm doing it in this voice. He's not a, he's not a fake Welsh person, is he? No. Oh. Been playing Celeste on the Switch. Oh, I've heard of Celeste. Yeah, I've heard of that one. I have to take the fresh mina off because my goodness, it's warm. I'm, I couldn't believe the cost of this stuff. It's, it claims to be um, cotton silk blend, but it was ten euros. And I, it's like, how can you make any money from that? The fact is, they can't. So I do wonder sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Patrick Celeste, if I remember correctly, is quite a difficult game. Here we go. So he's leaving. He's leaving the place. So I'm in the red light district, just hanging around in a car that has a bomb in it. I need to now find where they are. I think they're over here. But I can't be certain. There he is. I've been spot. You think? Oh. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Perhaps next time I shouldn't co arrive at the scene in an exploding car. <laughs> oh dear, let's do that again. I've got visions of... Uh, uh, what's his name? Crawley. Driving around in that car that's on fire at the end of uh, Good Omens. Which I watched while I was in Italy. Because I couldn't get to see Star Trek Discovery. Here's a fun one for you guys. You can buy the add-on for Paramount Plus for, on Amazon Prime if you're in Italy. However, you can't watch anything on Paramount Plus via Amazon Prime in Italy. This is not a joke. Or if it is, I was not laughing. Ridiculous. So I was hoping to have some time to watch Star Trek. But no! <laughs> Ridiculous. And 
That is not where I wanted to come off the freeway, was it? Couldn't believe it, guys. Really, seriously, could not believe it. It's like, yeah, you can sign up. Give us your cash. Oh, we can't watch anything. Oh, you thought you could watch anything? <laughs> no. Ridiculous. So I haven't seen any of Discovery yet. And since I've been back, I've been uh, working on the, the script for RuneScape. So I haven't seen it yet. It's ridiculous. Right, let's try this again. I'm determined to finish this mission by the end of tonight. We've only, we've only been going for half an hour. We've got time. We've got time. We can do this. We can do this. Beep, beep, beep. I can't do the mice from, from the magical mechanical mouse organ. Which um, was a pivotal part of my growing up. Because it's bag puss, oh bag puss, oh big furry cat puss. Come and see this thing that I bring. How did I get stuck behind? Oh, for goodness sake. How have I managed to go? Oh my goodness. What is. I'm not well. That's what it is. I tell you, head colds and stuff like that really do mess you up. I've. If I was well. I would not have taken half an hour to do one frickin' mission, I tell you that. Right, here we go. Right. Get the red light district. And go and show them what far. Or Oh there's a speedboat. There was, it went on <laughs> it went onto the frickin' water. Oh my goodness. Let's go! Let's go, baby, yeah. Look at this. It's Miami Vice, here we come. <laughs> oh, that makes up for it. That makes up for it all. Oh, my goodness. Beep, beep, ba. Turn, turn. Welcome to Portland. Land of the ports. I don't know why I've gone for a thick Scottish accent for that, but apparently it's... Portland, Scotland. War. War, Tony. It's ritualistic. Can I get can I bounce this thing out of the water? That would have been amazing if I could, but no. No, I can't. I'm just gonna have to bounce around. Let me get off the frickin' boat, you silly, silly snossages. Right. Can I get out? Come on. Let me glitch onto the edge. Go on. Oh, you know you want you know you wanna, you know I'm good for it. And the decaf glitched out again. <laughs> I've got next to no ability to do any bloody thing, but you know, at least I can do that. Let's put boats in games where you can't swim. <laughs> Ten to one, Zoe drowns it. Yeah, it's not the best idea, but it's what they've got. What's this? What's down there? What's that over there? Oh, a road. Bloody hell, I nearly got run over. Is that a shotgun? Oh, give me a shotgun. You know I'm good for it. Get, let me get in. Let me get in, man. Come on. Oh, go on. Let me get... And other weird noises as well. Oh, how can't... Why can't I get in here? I want the shotgun, man. No, I'm good for it. Just give me a car. Thank you. I need to get in there. How do I get in there? Get a shotgun. That would have been lovely. That would have been great. Oh, turn. Turn. Beep, beep. Right, you go up here in your slow-ass car with your stupid, stupid noises on it. Right, can I get... Beep. Right. Where is it? Yes! Oh, yes. Okay, now we've got a shot. Okay, here we go. The race is on. The race is on. 
Get in. Here we go. Right. Concentrate. Serious face. I've been spotted. Oh no! Oh no! That that will totally change my plans to shoot everyone in the face. Can I see the? Fr oh, good grief! My car's on fire. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Salvatore escaped back in the club. What? I didn't know we could do that. <laughs> I can't... I didn't even know he could do that. Also, I'm almost dead. I need to get out of here quick and hopefully not pack into Chinatown because they'll shoot me as well. <laughs> I just told Mrs. Space Chicken about your potential to plan to buy an Italian holiday home. She just wants you to know how much she loves and respects you. Oh, thank you. I think it'll be nice. You haven't done anything Batman related since last night. Yeah, don't worry about it. Sometimes a change is as good as a rest. Well, I think the only thing I can do now is say we really need to deal with the fact that I have massively, massively screwed up. And if I save, it won't do me any good. So, I need a car and I need it pretty much now. Please tell me we've got a car. And then I've got to get to the hospital. Oh, thank goodness, we've got a car. Right, I need to get to the hospital. Get 100% health again. And then we try... Why is my car already broken? Hmm. Hospital should be around here. I think. Hmm. I know there's a, a hospital around here somewhere, isn't it? No? Am I completely going in the wrong direction? I think I am. Hmm. I've royally screwed up here, haven't I? What do you think? I've been to Venice. The food's really nice. Seafood pasta. Not my thing, dude, but uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Right. Oh! I'm near the docks. Okay. There is a thing near the docks. Let's see. Where is it? There's a the health thing near the docks because we've used it before. I don't remember where it is, but we'll find it. Yes, we will. I haven't touched your engage layout in almost two weeks. It's not got any time for it instead of messing with your double or stuff. I do prefer it not. To be fair, having the option to switch is a great thing because it stops you getting burnout and it stops you getting uh, sick of it. It's one of the things that uh, yeah, creative people do struggle with. Having more than one project ongoing is actually a really good way of stopping burnout and just getting bored with things. Okay, where is it? I know there's a, a health around here somewhere. Why can't I find it? Also, where the hell am I? Oh, good grief. I'm in the wrong place, I? Oh, it's in the wrong place. What is this? <gasps> it's a rampage. Murder 30 Diablos in 120 seconds. Okay, where are some Diablos? That one over there. Third Diablo. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that didn't frickin' work, did it? Oh, that's just wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, man. I am struggling tonight, aren't I? This is what happens when you just 
not very well. But it feels nice to be back, guys, you know? Let's try this again. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this again. Let's try this again. Once more into the breach. You don't mean crab sticks, pasta. As a vegetarian, I wouldn't eat it, but... I can appreciate that uh, good food is good food, you know? So if you enjoyed it, that's brilliant. Right, let's do this. So round we go. And here we are. Okay. Sayonara, Salvatore. Trying to speak. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of Italy. I'm trying to speak multiple languages. So, I went into a, a little cafe. It became my favourite cafe in the whole of uh, Siena uh, while we were there. And it was just nice. It had seats outside, it offered beers and uh, cakes and all sorts. It was wonderful. So, I went in there to order two drinks for one for me, one for Jen. And it was the ri most ridiculous thing. Because I went up to the counter and very confidently said, <laughs> Duo Peroni, per favore. <laughs> Speaking three freaking languages at once. Spanish then, then English, then Italian. <laughs> so the guy just looked at me for a second and went, Do you mean two? Because <laughs> it's not duo, it's do it. <laughs> Duo Spanish. Oh, I took the wind out of my sails, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> but we did it. He understood well. The thing is, he spoke English. Most people in this police that we're talking to spoke English. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, thanks for knocking my confidence, dude. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Four, uh, speaking three languages in one sentence. Oh, dear. <clears throat> and one of them I don't even speak. It's my dad that does Spanish. <laughs> but you know what the worst thing is? I went to, went to Italy, learned a bit of Italian, not apparently not enough. And uh, the first thing that someone said to me is, Oh, you speak Italian? And I said, yeah, a little. And then he said, we don't speak Italian here. We speak Nepalese. <laughs> I did exactly what my dad did when going to Barcelona after getting qualifications in Spanish. Basically, I I learnt the Queen's English and then went to Liverpool. <laughs> oh, it was ridiculous, but it was a, it was such a nice place. I couldn't believe how nice it was. I'm definitely wanting to go back. When you visited China, you had amazing food, especially. I've heard that before, Space Chicken. Street food in China is apparently delicious. I can't say I've been there myself. Venice has gondoliers. It does. I do want to go on a gondolier. That would be cool. I, I grew up in a in a city that uh, is all about the the river in it, and I spend a lot of time mucking about in, in boats. So I understand the appeal of the gondola, <laughs> and I do definitely want to want to go there and have a look and have a try. Hi Jack, how you doing? Uh, hi, hello to you. How are, how are you all today? I'm new. How are you all? We're doing really good, thank you. I hope you're doing good and welcome to the show. I've got complete... How have I managed to get completely lost again in a game that I've finished before? This is ridiculous. Right, we're going through here. Get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> right, the good... Now it's good. Italy is chilled out. It is. It's incredible. Their postal service sucks, though. I'll tell you that right off. I bought some games in uh, Italy. And uh, uh, it took over a week for them to come. 
and that was because I'd paid for expedited delivery so that I could get them in time before I went home. <laughs> so I ordered them from Italy CEX <laughs> and it took a freaking week to get, <laughs> to get there. Salvatore is leaving Luigi's. Let's do this. Couldn't believe it. Right, where, where is he? Right, it looks like they're coming out. Doing great. You finished Doom 2. Well done. I never bother these days with Doom 2 finishing it. I do up until the final, uh, the final level, and then I just start playing it again from the start. Because I hate the final level. It's obnoxious. I did it the first time way back when, but these days, not a chance. I'm not one for gimmick levels, I have to say. But it's it, it's good if you finished it. Well done, well done. Everyone should give it a try. There he is. Right. Get over here, Salvatore! You little git. In your bloody fast car that I can't keep up with. He's going to get away again, isn't he? Will they stop pit manoeuvring me? Frickin' hell, man. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I'm not winning this time, am I? Look at this. This is ridiculous. I haven't even got my hands on the controller. I am not driving. They are driving me. Yeah, Salvatore is home. Yeah, I bet he is. Bloody fast girl. <laughs> Insane stop on. <laughs> okay right we need to we need to find a decent car essentially I need a Mafia Sentinel something that's got good speed but good armour so we, before we go back and get a, another chance at this I'm going to try and grab a Mafia car. Let's do this. Oh, there's another thing that you get told um, very, very harshly <laughs> when you go near, especially around Naples. Do not mention the Mafia. <laughs> They're a bit tetchy about it. <laughs> so we didn't. <clears throat> Take a Yakuza spot. I had thought about the Yakuza one, but I think it's a little harder to control than the uh, sturdy Italian one. So I'm going to try with this. If it doesn't work, I'll use the Yakuza one. I'm looking. I'm not getting this there in one piece, am I? This is. Uh, hmm. I think I'm out of practice after a fortnight away. I think I'm out of practice, but we'll see how we get on. Right. Is this the way to the freeway? It does look it, doesn't it? No, this isn't the way for, for the old guy. Right, let's try this. We'll get there in a minute. I am, I'm determined to beat this frickin' level tonight. Is this the way? Does anyone know the way? There's got to be a way to Blockbuster! Oh, for goodness sake, stop driving into everything, you silly me. I am, I'm, this is me driving, isn't it? It's my fault. Right, let's go this way and see. Yeah, there it is. There's the crossover. And it's not the right one. Rio de Janeiro, amazingly chilled out place for the most part. Also, Brazil has amazing street food. When I went, my mate Danny spent months learning Spanish for us to point out that Brazil speaks Portuguese. Oh my goodness, yeah! <laughs> that is an easy mistake to make. That is a very easy mistake to make. He's not the only one that's made that mistake, I'll tell you. And you won't be the last either. Right, where is the ramp? Is that the ramp? I think this is it, isn't it? Perfect insane stunt. What was the perfect insane stunt bonus? What the hell? Weird. Okay. Is this the way through? Is this the way through? Is this the tunnel that goes through to the other side? 
Yes, I think this is a tunnel. Okay, we can go this way. Brazil had very unique master system ports again. It did, yes. It's the exit to Staten Island is not available. Okay, give me a car. I have messed up right... Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, we'll stay away from that bit there. <laughs> Give me a freaking car, dude. Yeah, that'll do. Get out of the way. Don't try and get back in. Yeah. Our system is still in production in Brazil as well. Really? Even now? Wow. My goodness. Well, I'm stuck now. Okay, I managed to drift into Staten Island, but I thought we were already there, so I... No, we weren't. We're in Portland, so... Right, this is the right way. We're going in the right direction. Okay, that's cool. Keep going. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to have to get a Yakuza car now, because I accidentally destroyed the one that I was wanting to use, but never mind. Isn't there a variant of the Mars, like the Mars System 3 with infrared controllers or something? They've done all kinds over there, haven't they? Tech Toy is the one, isn't it? Tech Toy, I think. If I screw up this time, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you what I picked up initially. Games-wise, anyway. Whoa! No! Of all the places to have a hole in the frickin' road! Oh my goodness! <laughs> of all the places to have a hole! <laughs> oh, I love this game so much, but I'm so freaking bad at it. How's the? Have I still had the Dark Souls death count on all this time? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. So that's another numpty. Right, before we go any further, let me show you what I picked up. So we already know Lego Avengers picked that up the other day. That wasn't from Italy. I think you need to take a driving lesson here. Just a lot. Okay, so uh, I've already talked about Fantasia on a previous episode, so that's a fun one as well. And then the, here's the uh, PlayStation Portable stuff I've been picking up recently. Untold Legends, brilliant game. This one is uh, Brotherhood of the Blade. It's basically Diablo. It's really nice. Midway Arcade Treasures, uh, extended play version, so that's been fun as well. I do enjoy that. Archer McLean's Mercury. Guys, if you like the old style um, Marble Madness type of game, this is a, a very interesting uh, variant on that, which does a lot of puzzles regarding changing colours and all of that. So you have to deal with a lot of stuff. And since I like Lumines 1 so much, Lumines 2, <clears throat> been playing these a lot and it's a lot of fun. So, that's not all. Here's the Italian stuff I've picked up. Here's, stuff. Here's what I've been picking up, and it's a lot of fun. Hoppy. This is incredibly hard to get. It's rare as hen's teeth, and it's weird. And it didn't come out in the UK, but it plays on PAL systems. So, Hoppy. It's, um... I have no idea what it is, because I can't read what it says. <laughs> My Italian is not great yet. I am learning for when we go back, because I am going to go back. I'm hoping next year, something like that. Uh, but it looks like some kind of uh, isometric board game, which is really cool. And I'm really looking forward to playing it. It's Phoenix Games, but it looks quite interesting. Welcome back, Krista. How are you doing? Then we've got this weird one. Why this didn't come out in the UK, I don't know. All Music Dance. It's basically dancing stage. Seriously, it's just dancing stage. There we go. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I'm terrible at dancing uh, on these uh, dance mat games. <laughs> just wait till you see. <laughs> then this one is available in the UK, but it was only 50 cents in Italy. So Euro Rally Champion, and it's a rally game. You can get it in the UK, so looking forward to playing that. This one you can't get at all in the UK. Stinks, Singstar Radio 105. Yeah. So, 
it's an Italian sing star with a lot of Italian hits, but a few English pop hits as well and American ones. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I will not be doing that on a karaoke night on the show because we know what happened last time. Then this one you can get in the UK, but it's hard to bloody get. It's like 20 quid or something. Gunbird Special Edition, 50 cents in Italy. Could not believe my luck when they had a copy left in. It's a Japanese uh, vertically scrolling shoot em up game. It's an old arcade style game. I think it's actually from arcades and really, really good. Loving playing that. Get yourself uh, settled in with the arcade stick. Fantastic. But last but not least, Car Wash Tycoon. Two euros in Italy. 20 odd quid here. Two euros in Italy. Getting the. There's a lot of people that don't like picking up uh, stuff that's not uh, UK boxed stuff. Something that doesn't have English on the back, that kind of thing. But what I've found is, if you're willing to overlook that, which, to be fair, I am because I don't care, as long as it uh, plays on the UK console, I'll, I'll pick it up. You can get good deals. <clears throat> so, could not believe my luck. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, this all came to about 50 euros. 12 of that was uh, postage. And after that, 30 of that was hoppy. So, yeah. Couldn't believe my luck picking this stuff up. Absolutely great. However, Italian Post sucks. Sucks so much. Because it was a week. Speedy delivery was a freaking week to get these. I got them the day before I came home. They arrived at the villa we were staying at the day before I came home. I couldn't believe it. But even that's not the last because before I went, I uh, picked this up because someone mentioned that it was out there from software game Chrome Hounds. It's some kind of mech battling game for Xbox 360, so it looks pretty damn good. It looks a bit like Mech Warrior. Had to pick that up. I mean, of course I was going to pick that up. Really, really looking forward to playing it. So that's the the pickups. Looking forward to showing them off on. Um, I was going to do it on Monday, but I was too ill. <coughs> so just how it is. Shall we get back to the game? Right. Let's do this. So, we need to get back to what's it and who ha and thingamajig. Did Jenny get any train stuff? Sadly not. We were going to go to the model railway shop that's in Rome. But that would have cost us a two and a half hour trip on a train in the blazing heat. And that was a price I just couldn't pay. But next time, I'd love to do a city break in Rome or something like that. Apparently they're not that expensive as long as you're only going for a couple of days. So we could do it then. And that would be nice. So yeah, that would have been fun. <laughs> And I, I joke with Jen about stuff like this, because she does get recognised wherever she goes these days, thanks to her show. So I was <laughs> if we rocked up and someone went, Yo, Jenny Kirk, in the middle of frickin' Italy, I would, that would have been hilarious. But in the end, we couldn't do it. <coughs> it was just too hot. And Italy's uh, railways, they're really, really well used. So it's often standing room only. I was uh, very surprised. Actually, it was bloody cheap. Tell you what, travel in uh, public transport in Italy is freaking cheap, man. But I, I am not kidding. It was one fifty to ride the train all day. I'm not talking about a little metro or something like that, a little local thing. It was one fifty to ride the train all day. We went to Pompeii, we went to Sorrento and places like that on the train. One fifty a day. Could not believe it. So it was no no wonder that the entire place was full at the standing room only. Holy crap. But I could not have done that all the way to Rome. I couldn't. Not in the temperatures that they were in. Even at the start of, the, start of uh, summer, it was hot on the train. <coughs> Air conditioning can't cope when it's like 50, 60 people there. So we didn't get to go to the train shop, but we will hopefully get there some other time. 
So yeah, she didn't end up getting any train stuff. But we did get to see the choo-choos, which was nice. Choo-choo. Well, I've managed to screw that up already. That's wonderful. Great. Right. We need a new um, a new vehicle. One that will be reasonably hard wearing. Oh dear. Yeah, I'll stop talking about Italy eventually. But I was in love with the place. I really wanted to go back. And that's where we went for our honeymoon to Rome and went to Pompeii from Rome. We took trains up in the country and left via Pisa Airport. Nice! What did you think of the trains and, and the heat though? I found it, I found the heat mostly fine at the start of the, the summer, but stifling once it got really warm. And, and maybe that's just me, because I have a real problem with uh, temperature. The anger around Luigi's Club, Mafia will spy. You think? Drive over that purple dude. Oh, I missed. That's not fair, I wanted to drive over the purple dude. There's some more purples, yes. That oh, look at that cash, yes. <laughs> there we go. That was worth hitting the pimps. <laughs> oh, I'm evil and I don't care. <laughs> Where is the... Where's Salvatore? Come on, Salvatore! We're gonna do it this time. We're gonna freaking do it. <coughs> Come on! Oh my goodness! Come on! Right, it should be soon now. Did we have pizza? Oh yes, oh yes, we had proper Italian pizza. Oh my goodness, so good. Mm. Maybe what? It may, you know what it did? Maybe want to learn how to make a pizza that way and then make them at home. But it was uh, properly oven fired in a proper pizza oven that the guy had built himself. No, he hadn't built it. His dad had built it, and it looked amazing. But uh, yeah, it was. A wonderful experience. Right, we're going in. I had no guns! <laughs> Freaking hell, man! This is going on all night now, isn't it? I turned up with no guns. <laughs> that has got to be the stupidest thing I've done all day. I turned off to a gunfight with bare fists. <laughs> you don't need to stop talking about Italy. I still talk about going to China, Brazil, New York. That's 29, 28 years ago. Wow. I just don't want to turn it to that, you know, that one person who won't shut up about where they've been. <coughs> Here we go. Beep, beep. Right, I need some freaking guns. <laughs> I did that. Oh my goodness. Right. What I could really do with is a sniper rifle. I don't know why I'm saying it in that voice. Like, hello there. And I've gone for a fake accent and I don't know where it's from. You've never left the country. It's, it's worth it at least once because it's a hell of an experience. My goodness. Hell of an experience. Beep beep. Do this. Do, 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 do. It was the first time for, for about 26, 27 years that I've been out of the country on a, on a holiday and it, I loved every single minute. It was perfect. And I'm not usually one for taking time off and not working, but I knew I needed a, a break because Jen and I were just arguing over ridiculously nothing things because we were both stressed and worn out there's no what the hell the road just ends that's weird okay so yeah 
your bad health insurance would be so high, especially when I'm serious risk of heart attack. Yeah, you'd need insurance. If you've got a risk like that, you'd need insurance. But your best bet is... <coughs> I'm sure your computer enjoyed it, but it did. <laughs> it's working so much better, it's weird. But uh, your best bet, if you want to just go somewhere and you haven't got your heart set in any particular place, is what my dad's uh, colleague used to do when he was a younger guy before he was married. Was uh, pack a bag, grab his passport, and go down to the travel agent on the first day that he was uh, off on holiday from work. And t just say to them, so, where am I going? <laughs> and let's see what cheap deals they had. Like, basically, if you can get to the airport in the next three hours, you can go here. So he did. <laughs> and that seems like the best way to do it. You've been a bit of a jet setter, I've been to places around the world. Nice. For me, it's France, Spain, Germany, Holland, and Italy. Five. Oh, of course, uh, Scotland, Wales as well. I don't think they count because they're still part of us. Oh, yeah. Norway and New Zealand. I would love to go to Norway. Jaisnaker and Litnorsk. So, yeah, I, I learned Norwegian because it's a nice language and it just sounded cool. So, uh, I want to go to Norway, but I haven't been yet. Ah, here's a, a nice car. This is what we need. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I hope the opportunity does present for him to go somewhere. That'd be nice. S getting away and just having a nice time somewhere that you want to see is wonderful. Right. And it was far too bloody long since I was last away. Last time I was away was 1996. And it was ridiculous that it took so long. But, you know, these things happen. Right. Let's try this again. We are going to finish this freaking mission. I'm feeling so much better. I'm glad I took some tablets before I went live. <laughs> right, let's get some cashy monuments. And try this again. Do I need a license too? Oh my goodness. He's carrying a shotgun, isn't he? Yeah, he is. If I pull a gun, he'll fire at me. Right, let's try this again. One more time. One more time. One more time. <sighs> I am starting to feel sick again now, so I might have to call this a little early, but we'll see how we get on. Right, let's try and get through this mission. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Oh dear. A few days away in France might do you good. Because you're down south already, so getting to the Channel Tunnel wouldn't be too hard. And uh, even if you just booked into like a YMCA or something, which is actually a really good way of doing things if you're travelling, uh, that can be that can work out really well for you. So you can do travel on the cheap and then see the sights. Because let's face it, the the only reason to have a, a place to to stay is so you can sleep. So it can be done, but uh, you've got to you've got to take your time, you know, work a thing, work these things out. <coughs> All right, let's do this. Krista Duke says France, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg, Italy, USA ta three times, Switzerland, Romania, Portugal, Spain, Egypt, and South Africa. My goodness, <laughs> that is quite a um, quite a travel. You also wouldn't want to leave Melody. Yeah, that is the thing. That is one of the reasons why I didn't go abroad for a long time. The the furthest I'd go is uh, well. A couple of days away here and there, like a long weekend, if I knew someone was going to be able to look after Fred. Because I, I just, I couldn't do it to her, you know? So, I understand. <sighs> you don't have the money to go to Comic Con. It's possible to go and not buy things. I've done that many times with uh, conventions. Just uh, rock up, pay the the price for a ticket in, and then see the see what's going on, and have a nice day. You don't have to buy things, so the ticket as long as the ticket prices aren't extortionate, it's worth it. 
Right, guys. I'm not getting anywhere here, and I'm going around in circles. I feel terrible. I'm sorry to say, I think I am going to have to call it tonight. So, I'll stop it there. I've picked up, because I was on the plane, and it's like three hours on a plane with people who've been to various places, and they're all congregated in one, in one area. Ow. Oh. I've picked up some kind of bug, and it will go away, but it's taken its time. So I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me tonight, and we'll try for Final Fantasy tomorrow. Sorry I couldn't do the other two days this week, but uh, we'll try for Final Fantasy tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be okay, but until then, thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Have a great night, guys. Oh, I, I don't know whether a 3D game where I was rotating a lot was a good idea given that I am a little sick in the stomach at the moment. But yeah, take care guys. Have a great evening. Take the rest of the week off. I might. It depends on how how things go. I managed to get a video out on the vlog channel today. Uh, I managed to get this done for an hour. It's just... Oh, I want to get back into this, you know. It's my job and I don't want to be sat around doing, doing nothing. It, it feels wrong. I'm a workaholic, guys. I think we can all honestly say, yeah, I'm a bit of a workaholic. I don't like not being at work. <laughs> this is my job, you know? Oh, but never mind. Guys, take care. Have a great evening. Sonic has something to say as well. Gotta go fast. Oh, gotta go fast. <laughs> take care, guys.